what we have here is this patient that comes in, his chief complaint is shortness of breath. He is a 59-year-old male with COPD and hypertension. He has recently been discharged from the hospital, but he went home and the home care company came out to see him. And when they checked him, his SATs were 84% on room air and he was short of breath. He was brought to the emergency room. EMTs gave you a report and they explained to you that the patient had ran out of medication. Um, and when he was at home, he had to decide between food and medication and he went with food. And basically, now he's having breathing problems. Um, right now, he's on six liters nasal cannula. The vital signs are the ones you see now. So what we want you to do is once I say start, you're gonna get started with the scenario. Make sure that you put all your questions and information towards the physician and start. If you can listen to his breast sounds, doctor, he's 87% on a nasal cannula. Um, I would put him on a um, more oxygen, a non-rebreather. Sounds fine, yeah. Okay, if you listen to breath sounds, I'll, I will switch to 100% non-rebreather. What are its breath sounds? Would you like to start a continuous nebulizer of valbuterol? That'd be good with this too. Uh, continuous nebulizer, we'll start with, with 15 milligrams sure. of valbuterol. milligrams of valbuterol. Okay. I'll I'm gonna put, that right now. Okay, thank you. Sir, we're just gonna put a mask on. It has more oxygen, hopefully. It'll help your breathing become a little easier. I can't breathe. I, help me, I can't breathe. You having difficulty breathing? Yeah. Okay, we're trying to do some things for you here. We're gonna give you some medicine, all right? We're gonna get the medicine hooked up right now, okay? How are you feeling, sir? We're going to have to consider intubating him, doctor. Sir, we're just going to change your mask. Help me put this on. If his sets don't start to come up, we're going to have to consider an intubation. How are you feeling, sir? I know the mass is quite uncomfortable. Just give it a few minutes. Put this mask here onto you. Margaret's going to help you breathe. It's going to be a little uncomfortable. Check the cough on that, please, for me. Okay, sir. I see vocal cords too, please. Stylet. Cough up. Positive end title. If you can listen for bilateral breast sounds, please. So what we're going to do is the debriefing to kind of give you guys some feedback of how, how things went. So okay. again, this is our patient that came in with shortness of breath. He was a 59-year-old. And make the decision, and you guys did a great job intubating the patient. So in general, was there anything that you learned from this experience? Yes, you should re recommend steroid usage for a COPD patient. Okay. Well, when I first walked into the room, I couldn't believe how it looked just like the trauma bay. and. Um, you know, all of the equipment is the same, and it's just the experience in itself is really fascinating. 